This tutorial is to discuss a new function being added to MarkEdit as of version 5.2.3719.1688 uploaded March um, 8, 2010. The new function is called the Task Automation Tool. It's been added to MarkEdit in lieu of a macro recorder to basically help people um, chain together long strings of um, editor actions. So where we find it, we open the Mark Editor. Under Tools, you'll see these two new options, one Manage Tasks and one Assign Tasks. We're going to go ahead and set one up just so you can see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and select a file for my testing. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Tools, Manage Tasks. Um, I click on Create New Task. I'm going to go ahead and create my new task and call it Example 4. And I have my task that's been created here. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to edit the task. And we can see it opens up a task window. Right now, um, you can automate replacements, adding of new fields, deleting of fields, um, editing subfields, and editing indicator data. So I'm going to go ahead and, and create a replacement. First thing you should notice, the screen um, for the edit function is slightly different. It's The color has been changed. It changes to a misty rose color, um, which is there to let you know that this is a, a special um, version of the replace function. When you see this color, what it's telling you is it's not going to actually perform the action, but it's capturing the action that you're asking it to do. So it's going to capture the arguments and store them in the task manager for recording. So I'm going to go ahead and change um, test to test. I'm going to leave it as a match case because I want to show you that it does actually do um, a specific match case. We're going to add a field. And so I'm going to go ahead and add a field, 999. add the field. We're going to go ahead and delete a field. Let's go ahead and delete the uh, 440 field. Then we're going to um, edit subfield data. Let's go ahead and put a test GMD in. Using the special syntax. And then the last thing we're going to do is let's change the indicator data in the 830 from blanks to 10. Now one thing to remember about the task manager is that the, the task automation tool performs the task procedurally. So that means the first thing it's going to do is it's going to run the replacement, then it's going to add the field, then it's going to do a deletion, then it's going to edit the subfield, then it's going to change the indicator. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because the way that it works right now, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to do a replacement. It's going to change test to test, uh, test mixed case to test all uppercase. And the second thing is going to add a 999 field with a, a test field um, uh, added to it, where test is of mixed case. And so generally, so this would be a, a, a field that should be updated based on the first replacement, but it won't be because of the, the order that the events are changed together. If I wanted the 999 field to be swapped with the replacement, I'd have to put it above um, the first task that's been indicated here. Now I can do that here. I can shift the order, go ahead and select it and move them up or down. So I'm going to go ahead and take the indicators. I'm going to make it the second task that runs. And I'm going to go ahead and save that task. Then I need to set it assign it a key. So I'm going to go ahead and assign it to Shift F4. Select it. Key assignment. So it's been assigned. Close this up. And if I look now on Tools, under Assign Tasks, we'll see Example 4 has been set. If I click Shift F4, it'll run the, uh, the task, or I can run it from this menu. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And let's see what happens. We can see very quickly in the 245, the test GMD gets added. Um, right here we'll see test, not mixed case, so it didn't get placed into the uppercase. But here we had a mixed case test. All of these have been updated. And then, as pointed out, the new field that gets added, even though it's mixed case, doesn't get changed with the replacement function because um, it was done after that element um, in the chain. And the 440 has been removed, and the 830's indicators have been changed. So the application has chained together all of those tasks, 
processed them, and then given you the output when it's done. And that's essentially the task replacement function. Um, this is a new function as of the, the version number mentioned, um, uploaded March um, 8th. And so uh, if you um, run any problems or end up having questions, um, feel free to contact the market at listserv. Okay, thanks.